So the video we're going to take a look at today, I'm just going to be honest here, it's going to be hard to watch. I mean, this is extremely difficult to watch here. This woman, I mean, she's been oppressed. I mean, it's just, it's obvious no one should have to go through what this woman is going through here. It's just, it's absurd, really. That's all I can say. I mean, it's very clear this woman has just went through one of the most traumatizing experiences of her entire life. It really doesn't get much worse than this, folks. Now, you might be wondering, I mean, what on earth could this footage possibly be? You know, did this woman just get attacked by a bear in the wilderness? Did did her entire house burn down and now she's just left stranded in the middle of nowhere? Did she just get robbed at gunpoint by a complete stranger? Well, believe it or not, it's actually far worse than any of that. She's, I, I, it's, this is this is hard to say, she's being forced to wear a mask. I know, I, 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 I know you guys are just as shocked as I am. I know every single person watching this, I know your jaw just dropped to the floor when you heard that. But I mean, believe it or not, it's a real thing, folks. It's a real thing. This, this is true oppression right here. I mean, when you're forced to wear a mask when you're walking around the local Walmart, I mean, that your rights are just being stripped away right in front of you. So we're going to go ahead and take a look at what this woman has to say here about her awful experience when wearing a mask in a store. I mean, it's really just hard to hear. And we're just going to call this woman here Karen because, I mean, when you see this footage of her, I mean, if we're going to put Vegas odds on it, there's at least a 97% chance that this woman's name is Karen. I mean, there's just no other possibility. That was probably 45 minutes of having it on. It's the first time I've worn one. I am disoriented. I'm a little mad if you can't tell that already like i'm very i'm i'm frustrated but i don't feel good physically like i can tell you right now i wasn't getting enough oxygen and i just had on one of these little stupid things okay now first off just stop the cap you're telling me with one of these paper thin masks that are made for you to be able to breathe through they're 100 percent breathable i mean if you go anywhere in public right now you're gonna see half the people outside wearing a mask exactly like this you're telling me that you just can't wear them for 45 you wore it for 45 minutes and you're dizzy and you feel physically ill. You feel like you could just drop and faint on the floor right now after 45 minutes of wearing a mask. I feel dizzy. My hands are kind of tingly. Um, my heart is beating fast. So some of it's an emotional reaction, but some of it's a physical reaction. I understand the virus is real. Okay. I understand the virus is real. Friends, look at the numbers and tell me why everybody's living in fear. And I quote, look at the numbers and tell me why everyone is in fear. Okay, let's look at the numbers real quick. Worldwide, there have been 5.21 million confirmed cases of coronavirus and over 330,000 people have died from the coronavirus. And you're saying, why are we in fear? Really? Really? Does that even need to be answered? Do I, need, do I need to elaborate or do the numbers just show themselves? I mean, I don't know. There's a there's a deadly pandemic going on that's killed over 300,000 people. Why are we living in fear? Look at the numbers. There's nothing to be worried about. I mean, do you realize how stupid you sound? Tell me why we're putting these things on and not being able to breathe. Literally everyone else can breathe. You just wanted something to complain about so you could post this video on Facebook and feel oppressed. I just want to cry. Like that's all I want to do is cry because you can't see people's faces. You can't make human connection. We can't hug people. We can't hold their babies. I mean, I just can't imagine. Your life must be horrible. You can't walk around and hug people's babies in Walmart anymore. I mean, for a couple months, you have to stop hugging your friends when you see them in Walmart. I mean, God forbid. I mean, someone clearly needs to find a cure to the coronavirus so this woman can, you know, hug her friends in Walmart and see their faces. I mean, how inconsiderate of the coronavirus. Did it not even think about this woman's feelings? This doesn't make sense. And it's, I'm not okay with it. Nothing about what we're doing is supported by the numbers that are out there. Really, so apparently it, that wearing a mask just doesn't make sense and the numbers just don't support it at all. There's no reason for it. You know, Karen here, the disease expert all of a sudden. Well, you know, with this amazing, it's kind of an underground website, not too many people know about it. It's called Google. With one Google search, I was able to find the CDC recommends wearing a cloth mask for the following reasons. A cloth mask can help individuals cover a cough or sneeze, reducing the spread of germs. I mean, it's just crazy how easy it was to find that out. You'd think that instead of making this full two minute video, she could have just Googled it, but then there's not something to complain about on Facebook. And I do care about you, 
but I also care about me and my children and my family and I do care about my rights and it's probably the last time I'm wearing this because I feel terrible I feel emotionally terrible but I feel physically like it affected me so anyway there you go it's crazy how contradictory almost everything she said in that statement was. She says, I do care about you, I do care about me, I do care about my family, and I also care about my rights. And then immediately after that, she says, this will probably be the last time I ever wear one of these masks. So first off, you don't care about other people, because if you did, you wouldn't be complaining about wearing a mask, you would just be wearing it for the sake of other people and not getting them sick. And the same with your family and children, you can't say, I do care about my family and my children, whenever you're not taking taking the necessary steps to keep yourself and them safe. Not to mention you're setting a horrible example for your kids with this. And then probably the dumbest thing she says in this entire video here is I do care about my rights. You know that a private establishment requiring you to wear a mask inside their building is not against your rights. I mean, I'm assuming you live in the United States and it is not against the constitution for you to wear a mask inside of a store. So sorry to tell you. Anyway, that's where I'm gonna wrap up this video. Don't forget to drop a like and subscribe if you're brand new to the channel. As always, you can follow me on Twitter at RelexYT. And other than that, I'll catch you guys in the next video. I'm out.